time to talk dirty, people. We all know to clean the sink, mop the floors, wipe down the counters, but even the most conscientious of cleaners may overlook certain household items allowing germs to spread. Today, contributor Elizabeth Mayhew joins us to reveal the most common mistakes. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. It's about to get real. I, I have to say, I learned a lot from reading about this, so I can't wait to share it with viewers. You say there's three things we should wipe down right now in our houses that all we never do. All the time. Doorknobs. Okay. Yes. So take a little wipe, wipe those down. You want to wipe down your the refrigerator door handle. Yeah. Think about all the times you touch that. Yeah. And um, light, you always want to wipe down lights. light oh, switches. And you, I have another one, actually. What? You want to wipe down the toilet paper holder because you oh. don't realize it's right near the toilet. So every time you're flushing. Oh, everything's like swimming yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, you okay. That too. All right, let's start in the kitchen. I have to tell you, I never thought about cleaning the dishwasher. I thought it got clean every time you run the okay, dishwasher. This is the thing. Anything that gets water running through it, you want to clean frequently. Water is like it's a bacteria dish, right? You're just like heat and water. So just because you're washing your dishes does not mean your dishwasher is actually cleaning. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to take white vinegar. White vinegar is like the wonder cleaner. I say it all the time on this show. Okay. You just put it in a, in a cup, like a dishwasher safe cup, put yeah. it in the top. You're going to close it. Yeah. You're going to run it through a full hot cycle. You're then going to open it, and then you're going to take some baking soda, spread it in the bottom. Close, you mean just like sprinkle it sprinkle in the bottom? The bottom. Okay. This is going to deodorize it. Yeah. Close it up. You're going to run it through half a cycle. And then the big tip is when it's dry, just leave the door open and let it air dry a bit. You use that much baking soda? No, 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 no. no, no. Just, just sprinkle like a, a little sprinkle bit. Sprinkle a little bit. Sorry, we have it here. Similar tips for your um, coffee maker, white vinegar. You want to run it through in the water. If you drink coffee as much as I do, yeah, think I about do. water, the calcium builds up. So this cleans your machine. And you can find all those tips on today.com. So today. you would put the vinegar in where you would White normally put the water. And water. Run it through a cycle. Okay. And then you want to run it two times after that as well. Lesson learned. Let's hobble over here. How about the, how about the bathroom? Okay. The number one thing that you might be forgetting to clean is your toothbrush holder. Yeah. Disgusting. You should clean it every <laughs> single week. So basically, you can you can take it out or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. You take it out. You rinse it with water. You know. Also, change your toothbrushes. By the way, yes. like get this. Rinse it with hot water, and then all you want to do is pour some dis well this is it's easier to open you yes yeah but mouth that looks like mouthwash, mouthwash. Yeah. yeah it's mouthwash you pour that in let it sit for a few minutes and then rinse it out so that will also deodorize it and desanitize now i would have put that in the dishwasher you could no? do that too you okay. could do that too but this is like if you're in your bathroom and you just want to do it you've got everything there okay in the laundry room in the laundry room now your iron, you might notice, like I have a friend who said to me the other night, like she turned it on and she went to go put the steam on and all this gross stuff came yeah, out. Or it can get kind of brown. Or it can get kind of brown. This one is actually pretty clean, but the way to clean that, and you, this is the type of thing where you have to do when you need to do it. It's yeah. not like a regular maintenance thing. Yeah. But you basically make a toast. Uh, a toast. <laughs> um, you take white vinegar and you take some baking soda again. You make a paste and you just rub it over the front mm -hmm. of the machine. Then you're going to wipe it clean with another cloth. Then okay. you're going to take some cotton swabs with distilled water and distilled water you're just going to clean all the little vents oh. okay and then okay. what you're going to do is you're going to take the distilled um, vinegar or the distilled um, water pour it into the um, thing yeah. run it through a few times and so squirt it out or whatever. We'll squirt it out, and you're going to do it for about five minutes on a cloth. Okay. Okay, and that will clean. Sort it. of as needed. You have to do that every. That's week. as needed, but it's just like the type of thing that you don't necessarily have to run out and buy a new one. Okay. You can actually clean the one you have. Now over here in the bedroom, you wash your sheets, you do your duvet. What are we forgetting? Your pillows. Think about it. You're sleeping on it. You're breathing on it. Dust mites. Well, that's why pillowcases are here. You wash well, those. Well, no, but but it actually goes through your pillowcases. Now, one thing you can get are pillow protectors. That's yeah. like another layer. But you really should wash your pillows about two to four times a year. So this is not good for foam. You can't wash foam pillows, but you can wash both um, like a poly and a feather. So if you grab that pillow, yes. okay. basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your pillows. You're going to put them in the washing machine. You're going to wash them on the hottest cycle. Yeah. Use a liquid <laughs> detergent. Not I'm so <laughs> elegant walking over. Over here. Yes, Use okay. a liquid detergent, not a powder detergent. Powder will um, leave a residue. Oh. So once they're washed, you're going to put them in that hot cycle. Then you're going to stick them in the dryer. So stick it on so in there. Put, okay. I, I We've was, washed yeah. it. We're washed pretending it, blah, blah, magic blah, blah. of okay. TV. You put it into the dryer. Throw in two tennis balls. Why? Because tennis balls will aerate them and it kind of bounces around and keeps the pillows fluffy. Yeah. You need to dry it for about two hours. You definitely want to make sure that they get really dry. Yeah. Then you're going to take them out periodically, fluff them up, put them back in 
And you've got Presto really nice, fresh, clean pillows. I love that. And make sure the tennis balls are clean, okay. obviously, That's right? True. By the way, we did a today.com survey. How often do you wash your bed pillows? 60% said never. Well, I feel much better. I, I hope it's more. Yes, I hope so too. I actually, I, I learned a lot in this, Elizabeth. I'm Thank glad. you very much. If you want these tips or more information, just go to today.com slash. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.